Burkina Faso president who served only for a week the title at the brief reign of General Honore Nebara Traore, the week that shaped Burkina Faso's history. In the annals of Burkina Faso's political history, if there exists a brief but significant chapter marked by the ephemeral presidency of General Honore Nebara Traore. Born on September 28, 1957, Traore's tenure at the helm of the nation lasted merely a week, yet its impact reverberated far beyond its temporal confines. Traore's ascension to power was precipitated by the seismic events of the 2014 Bakinabi uprising, a popular revolt that culminated in the resignation of then-President Blaise Compare. As the nation grappled with uncertainty and transition, Traoré, a Burkinabi soldier, found himself thrust into a position of leadership, assuming office immediately following Compare's resignation. Traoré's presidency began on a note of tumult and apprehension. The country stood at a crossroads, a torn between the vestiges of the past and the aspirations of a populace clamoring for change. In the midst of this political maelstrom, Traoré's leadership was poised to steer Burkina Faso towards a new dawn. However, Traoré's tenure was destined to be short-lived. Merely a day into his presidency, he and other officials of the interim military administration made a pivotal decision. Recognizing the imperative of a transition to civilian rule, Traoré and his cohorts declared Isaac Zida as the interim head of state. This decision, while ostensibly abrupt, was motivated by a commitment to uphold democratic principles and pave the way for free and fair elections. Traoré's swift relinquishment of power underscored a remarkable display of statesmanship. Rather than cling to authority or perpetuate military rule, he willingly yielded to the imperative of democratic governance. In doing so, Traoré exemplified a commitment to the greater good, transcending personal ambition in favor of the nation's long-term interests. The significance of Traoré's brief presidency extends beyond its temporal brevity. It serves as a poignant reminder of Burkina Faso's resilience in the face of adversity, as well as its unwavering commitment to democratic values. Traoré's actions, though fleeting, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's trajectory during a pivotal moment in its history. Moreover, Traoré's tenure highlights the complex interplay between military and civilian leadership in Burkina Faso's political landscape. His rapid ascent and subsequent relinquishment of power underscore the delicate balance between security imperatives and democratic governance. In navigating this terrain, Traoré grappled with the weighty responsibilities of leadership ultimately charting a course that prioritized the will of the people above all else in the years since Traoré's brief presidency. Burkina Faso has undergone profound transformations. The nation has witnessed the consolidation of democratic institutions as well as the emergence of vibrant civil society movements. Through it all, Traoré's legacy endures as a testament to the enduring spirit of Burkinabi democracy as Burkina Faso continues to navigate the complexities of nation-building and democratic consolidation, the lessons of Traoré's presidency remain ever relevant. His legacy serves as a beacon of inspiration, reminding both current and future leaders of the importance of humility, integrity, and a steadfast commitment to democratic principles. In the final analysis, Traoré's week-long presidency may have been brief, but its impact was indelible. Through his actions, he exemplified the ideals of servant leadership, selflessly placing the interests of the nation above his own. In doing so, he etched his name into the annals of Burkina Faso's history, leaving behind a legacy that will endure for generations to come.